Another useful thing that we might want to do with planes is find the angle between them, or the, the angles between them, right? So if I have two planes, let's say I'm looking at them so that exactly uh, I can only see them like as lines. So I'm looking at them from the side, right? I might want these two angles. And you know, here I made it look like these are both going to be you know, roughly 90, but if I draw them at a, a steeper angle. So I want this angle and this angle. Right? So how can I find the angle between two planes? Well, let's think about it. If I take these two planes, so I'm just gonna draw them yet again over here. I, let's call this theta one and call this theta two. Let's take their normal vectors, okay? And connect them like this. Yeah, these are connected. So I have a right angle here and a right angle here. I know a quadrilateral has 360 degrees in it. Um, and that means there's there's uh, 180 right here. So this plus this must equal 180, and theta two plus theta one also equals 180, which means this angle must be theta one. So what I can do is I can find the angle between um, the normal vectors, and then that'll be one of my dihedral angles. And I can then say 180 minus that is my other dihedral angle. So to find the angle between um, planes, you're really just gonna find the angle between two vectors, which we've done before with the dot product. So for example, let's find uh, the dihedral angles between 4x plus 7y uh, plus 3z plus 71 equals 0, and 3x minus 5y plus 2z minus 39 equals 0. So my first normal vector is going to be equal to, call this n1, uh, 4, 7, 3. And my second normal vector, n2, is going to be equal to 3, negative 5, 2. Remember, the intercepts do not matter at all. We're only caring about the normal vectors, which are the slopes and the coefficients of the x, y, and the z. So to find the angle between these, what I need to do is I need to do uh, n1 dotted with n2 is going to be equal to the magnitude of n1 times the magnitude of n2 times the cosine of the angle between them. So I'm solving for this theta. So theta is going to be equal to the arc cosine of n1 dot n2, n1 dot n2, over uh, the magnitude of n1, magnitude n2. You've seen this before. We did this in the other video with dot product. Um, and if you do this out, you should get that the you're going to have the arc cosine of uh, 3 divided by the square root of Oh, I think my notes are wrong here. Um, let's well, let's just find out. So this is going to be uh, the first one. We're going to have uh, 16 plus 49 plus 9. So that's going to be 74. So I'm going to have the square root of 74 times, and it, the dot product too is not 3, is it? It's 12. Uh, and then I have negative 35 and plus 6. Uh, 12, negative 35 plus 6. Yeah, so I get negative 17 here. Um, and then the magnitude of the second one, I'm going to have the square root of 9 plus 25 plus 4, which is going to be 38. So uh, from here, um, we just put this in a calculator. So the inverse cosine of negative 17 divided by the square root of 74 times 38. Get 108.5. We'll say seven degrees, right? So that's going to be one of my angles. I'll call that theta one. My other angle, theta two, is just going to be equal to 180 degrees minus theta one, uh, which is going to give me uh, 71.3 degrees. And that's how you get the dihedral angles of a plane. Um, so remember, you're just pull, extracting the normal vector from the equation by looking at the coefficients. And then you use dot product to find the angle between them. Uh, and that will be one of the dihedral angles. And the other one is obtained by subtracting it from 180 degrees.